Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My dear fellows and students and colleagues and those who are appearing in the post-graduate examinations and those who are appearing in any sort of the family uh, physician examinations and those who are interested to gain knowledge. As, I, as you know that internal medicine is a very broad field. It's a very broad field. From head to foot, every part is involved in as far as evaluation is concerned. Referral is your right, you can refer it. When you when to refer, when to go for investigation and when to go for acute management. These are three important questions asked in the examination. Specifically speaking in cases of the foreign examinations who are appearing the license examination and those people who are appearing in the family physician examinations. These three questions in the end will be asked. So on the spot, that is actually the, means that uh, uh, the thing is this, uh, uh, the knowledge should be complete. It should be complete from head to tail, means that from the scalp to the foot. On behalf of this actually, because I have uh, also practiced for about 20 years, 20 years as a family physician or as a general practitioner, and I have gained a lot of knowledge from this practice. From this practice, I know that you cannot negate a ch child when a patient brings to you himself or a child of any age group, he will ask you to do it. If you want to refer to the pediatrician, that's okay, fine. If you do not want to refer it because the patient is not consented, you have to interrupt. You have to go for the interaction with the child. So these are the, this, is, this discussion belongs to the, actually the common childhood infection and rashes. And these infections actually they are mainly seen in the pediatric world. But if they occur in the adult or in the teenager, these, these infections are more invasive, more complicated and more difficult to manage. That is why I am taking the common childhood infections and rashes. Already done fever with rashes. First of all, what is remaining in my mind is that the student asked me that what are the causes of the fever which chills or fever with rashes. The chills are the feeling of the coldness. And ragers are the shaking, means shaking chills. Shaking chills are the correct words. They feel very cold, very cold, and then the body shivers because of the thermostate mechanism of the hypothalamus. It reacts and will generate the temperature of the body by contacting the muscles and, and by providing the enough Basal, basal metabolic rate in the form of heat. So body compensate in this fashion is a negative feedback mechanism. So no actually fevers in the world. You cannot say that they cannot cause chills or they cannot call the rigors or rigors. But there are few very specific infections which can cause this, very specific. First of all, remember if there is a collection of pus inside the body, this will call fever with chills or rashes, number two. Those infections which are, which are actually go for a cycle in the body, they are following a cycle. 
for example, parasitic life cycle. For example, in malaria, there is a life cycle of plasmodium. Plasmodium, there is a life cycle, of course. There was a fancy parameter, I would like to obey or merge, whatever it is. In the same fashion, Lichminia. In the same, same fashion, the others, like, for example, you have heard of it, the infection of filaria, microfilaria, which area, bank of tie, nocturnal, all, always infecting the person in the night, while the other one, which is which is parallel to other microfilaria, for example, all or others, they will come in the in the daytime to parasitemia, to any thing which is coming in this fashion will cause the chills or I guess. For example, malaria and the limiting infection like acute lobar pneumonia, lung abscesses or any abscess in the body, all conditions which causing the sepsemia, all conditions which causing the pyemia in the intermittent fashion, of course. Urinary tract infection is very important infection associated with the chills or rivals. And the palliac cases or pyelonephritis, that is the stasis of the urine in the urinary tract, will cause the multiplication of the bacteria, pyelonephritis infection localized to the kidneys of the tubular system and subacute bacterial endocarditis because of the limitation of the infection to the endocardium and thrombophilitis or indwelling catheters which are infected. For example, these are the few examples which are given with the fever and with chills and rigors. So this, this is a question which was asked by me, by my student, by my student that you are talking on the fever and fever and fever and fever. And he asked specifically this question. That is why I have answered it. Both infections which are localized, localized, containing the pus, those infections who are coming in the fashion of transient bacteremia to the bacteremia and pyemia, all those infections which are limited for example, uh, lobar pneumonia to a specific organ, those infections which are coming in the cycles, periodical cycles, like for example, the malaria, dysmenia, the microfilaria, all those infections, localized infections to the skin, for example, the inflammation of the lymphatic system or the venous system, thrombocolibitis, for example. They are causing, actually, fever with the chills and arrivals. I have seen the liver abscesses in this country to cause this chills and arrivals. I have seen this, this malaria. Like you see, any person who is asked that what is, what is the cause of fever, the chills and malaria, he, with a chill and, and rigor, you will tell the malaria. But the other causes are important also. This is very important cause in females, you know, type infection. And this is very common cause in diabetic patients, specifically. You say the, which microorganism can, every microorganism can cause chills and rigors, including the ARNA virus and DNA viruses. At one time it was, it is a theoretical concept that the viremia, any virus will not cause chills or virus. No, it is wrong now. Because they have proved it, the chills can occur and virus even can occur in the, some of the viral infections also, like infectious mononucleosis. There will be high grade fever and with chills and virus, it's possible. Coming to the meningococcemia or meningococcal septicemia, it is the infection of the childhood. Mortality is 10%, although, but if it, 
it launches into the disseminated intervascular coagulation is 90 percent. Morbidity to other places, deafness, neurological complications and amputations, etc. Or it may cause what is known as cysts or it can cause MODS. The morbidity is 10 percent. The peak incidence is less than four years. This is infection, very important. The immunization program includes the C, the immunogenic work to C vaccine, 50 percent of the bacterial meningitis in the United Kingdom, and B in the adults. Now, managing local septicemia, clinical feature, fever, non specific malaise, lethargy, vomiting, meningism, negligence, TTP, sky sign, and respiratory distress syndrome, irritability, seizures. Mechanic buccal rash, common early in the disease. This is because of the, of the transient meningococcemia. There will be two types of the meningococcemia, acute meningococcemia or recurrent meningococcemia or chronic meningococcemia. Petechial rash seen in about 60% of them. It is the hemorrhagic type of a, or purpuric type of a rash, mainly. Meningococcal septicemia in the primary care, definitely you will address to the hypertension, you will address to the paraxia, etc. And then afterwards, the immediate intravenous intermuscular antibiotics are needed specifically benzylpensiline or ben, uh, benzylpensiline uh, derivatives uh, can be given. A broad spectrum penicillin should be, can be given. Contact prophylaxis. Now, this was asked by many of the candidates, and they have answered wrong. Now, is this magic of I mean, the contact prophylaxis is referencing. It is for the more than 12 years of age, it is 600 milligram twice a day for seven days. Or 10 milligram per gram body weight from 1 to 12 years. If it is less than one year, rifamycin syrup suspension, 5 milligram per program body weight BD twice a day for seven days. You should remember this. I think many of us doesn't did not know the contact prophylaxis of the meningeal vocal septicemia. Be careful, this is the infection just like coronavirus. Now it is septicemia and the rashes are seen. It is definitely erythematous perpetuic type of rashes. You have seen this. Another infection which is child in a child is common in Tygo or folliculitis. Streptococcus aureus is the leading infection followed by the streptococci. Now classically ruptured by cycles with any color testing. It may be bullous in nature, it's a big one. More common in the pre existing skin disease, very contagious, rapid spread to the area around it and commonly start around the face and the mouth. Very common infection. If it is if it, it is seen in the dangerous zone. What is the dangerous zone of the face? Can anybody answer? Now the, look your face where is the mustache area where the mustache is there including very near to the anterior nerves and around the lateral border of the nose, about half centimeter around it. And this is the part which is the most dangerous part. It occurs here, for example, it is very common uh, infection in particular or boil that it will or boil I will say around the nose it will carry out through the venous drainage to the other part which is draining and then it is communicating inside 
the cranium, it can cause what is known as the thrombosis of the intact in structures. Cavernous sinus thrombosis is the hallmark of this disease. And that if you not teach it, this case properly. This is the empathago, this is the dangerous zone. This neck area, here, 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 here. This is the dangerous zone. Whether the ball is there, whether the empathago contagiosa is there, here, here, you see this. It will drain to the venous system here or lymphatic system and then go inside. Through the, it will drain through the intracranium then or communicating with it and causing the cavernous sinus thrombosis. Now, streptococcal scalded skin syndrome. Many of us do, do not know about this condition. Actually, this is caused by the streptococcus exfoliative toxin. Resume is tender skin progressing to the deep squamation of the skin. It is just like a burn then afterwards. How many percentage of the body is involved, surface area is involved, is important. And there is an ecology sky sign. If you put a uh, you know, scratch there, it will peel off. 62% to less than two years, it is 98% less than five years. And you will be negative in children. It is, if you go for the investigation, then, then it becomes negative in children. The blood culture usually is negative in children because you were already given antibiotics either or they are not. It is a localized infection causing the disquamation of the skin. Usually febrile may rapidly progress to dehydration and shock, just like burns. Treatment is systemic anti staphylococcal antibodies and antibiotics. Passive immunization can be done, but antibiotics, broad spectrum, emollients, it may need intravenous fluids, just like shock management, just like burns management. You have to go for the You have to go for this uh, management. Now, Staphylococcus scalded skin syndrome. And let's see this explanation. How much body is involved? Just calculate it like, like a burn. And treat the patient like a burn. Now, this is misnomer. Scarlet fever. How many percent you have seen this? I will take the separate lecture on this because it was asked in the, in the two years back, a student who was appearing in FCPS examination, because there are rashes on the body, the examiner asked about this condition, and the age of about 13 years to 14 years of a child, an FCPS examination, not in pediatric examination. It is the group A beta hemolytic streptococcus, which is involving the scarlet fever. Two days post streptococcal pharyngitis, within two to four days, the fever, headache, sore throat, peeling of unbandness, and flush face with the circumoral pallor. Rash may extend to the whole body. It means that it is first of all centripetal, then it becomes centrifugal. And rough sandpaper skin, this is important. You know what is sandpaper? It's very rough and sandpaper type thing. Disquamation occurs like this, I scalded in about five to seven days. It regularly soles in the palms, peel off. And they're appearing, usually seen in school age children, about five to ten years of age. And there is strawberry tongue, white strawberry tongue. Very characteristic 
feature of this condition. And the throat swab will be positive, the SOT test is higher because it is streptococcus infection. And penicillin is given, is the or beta lactin antibiotic, the treatment of choice given for 7 to 10 days. Now it will be taken separately because it is important and they have asked in the examination. The foreign examiner belonging to Sudan asked about this thing. Because he was uh, FRCP and he was trained in United Kingdom. This fever is very important to that person. And he said that and 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 he and the candidate uh, have, was not able to answer it properly. He said that you should know about this condition, my dear, because this is the condition missed by you. What is scarlet fever? You say that it is just a uh, local type of infection or something, uh, allergic reaction. No, no, no. You have not asked to put out the tongue. You are not taking the steep properly. How can you say it is not a scarlet fever? Actually, the argument was going on between the candidate and the examiner. That he, that, that the, 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 the candidate should know about this. Because he, he left, you know, there, there, is a, you know, there is a fashion of short circuiting. Now try to, you know, they, they are uh, following some small books or uh, uh, the books which, which, which are, have got the uh, previous examination papers have been followed. The MCQ systems, MCQ have been done by these candidates only. They don't know the basics of it. Basics of it. For example, I will ask you about the brucellosis. And I said about undulant, undulant fever. What will you answer in the examination? The brucellosis is seen in Pakistan. So the candidates should know about the brucellosis. Yeah? Scarlet fever do occur in Pakistan, but you have not seen it because you don't know this condition. So, the, that internet is good. This one, you have my sensor gets it take internet, you have what chat you shut okay, good job. Differential diagnosis then I you have to make a differential diagnosis, although it may be wrong. But keep it in your mind as a parking on the parking place in your mind that it may be scarlet fever. Why not? This is a scarlet fever, the face is flushed and there is, you know, it's a around the face here, 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 on the ear, tip of the ear. This child in, is in a dangerous position because this will cause the streptococcus bacteremia, then cause septicemia, then cause pyemia, then cause what is called SIRS. It can cause the sepsis, septic shock, it can cause the MODS. Now this is the scarlet fever tongue. Coating occurs, this is a strawberry. Strawberry, you see the strawberry? Just like a strawberry. One strawberry this, another strawberry is this. Then the strawberry is, is not coated. The white strawberry, the, the, the small stra strawberries. See the strawberry first, and then see this tongue. It's exactly matching it. That is what it's called, it's a strawberry tongue. But it's a varicella infection, chicken pox. Incubation period is 14 to 21 days. It is a common infection, mild prodromal illness. There is a specific rash which appearing on the face, scalp followed by tongue spread centrifugally. Centripetal first and then centrifugal, spreading centrifugally. Now these are the stages of the infection. Whether it will, you will see all macules at one time. You will not see the macule plus papules. Followed by the papules, then the papules are means all the body is involved with the papules at one time. Then the cycles at one time. There will be no papules and macules, it, it means that. When the cycle occurs, it will be, it will be gone. Macule and papule. And then it will convert it into pustule means pustular infection now. 
and then ending in the crust. Pursue means pursue, or pursue, then pursue. In spite of the what is called smallpox, variola, which is not seen nowadays, it is challenged by the WHO if anybody found any variola infection or smallpox infection, he will be awarded $10,000. $10,000. Was announced by the WHO now. At one time it was one thousand dollar, then the three thousand dollar, then five thousand dollar, then seven thousand dollar, now the ten thousand dollar. If you prove it, it is very low major. That is smallpox. Then they will give you this money. But since ten years, nobody has taken this challenge. At one time, uh, my you know teacher in 1978, uh, we three, three students presented a case of virula, diagnosing virula, means smallpox, and demanding to our madam that we should be given one thousand dollar at that time. She examined the child and said, no, "Look, the pupils are there." In one side, the pupils are also present. On the back, the cycles are there. On other areas, the pupils are there. All these seizures are seen in one patient. You have only seen the pupils. You have not correctly uh, diagnosing these two cycles and the pupils in the different part of the body. It is very similar, chicken box. It is not small box. Sorry, we, we cannot award you one thousand dollars. So it is interesting that the virula, the high vaccination program has eradicated, completely eradicated the smallpox. This is the success of our medicine. The complications are in virula is pneumonia is very important, encephalitis, meningitis, superseded staphylococcal infection, disseminated uh, intravascular coagulation. In immunocompromised and advised with the pregnant mothers because it is uh, it could cause the abortion. Basically, that's advice to the pregnant mothers. You can give the uh, passive immunization by giving the immunoglobulins, suppress it. No specific therapy is there to save you. This is a common one, measles. Now measles is an infection we see usually in childhood. But I have seen in teenagers, I have seen in the ages of 30, 35 years also. Now measles are of, of, of many types. It is the classical measles which we are discussing. The measles is caused by a virus. It is a DNA virus, an unwell child, incubation period 7 to 10, 14 days, fever, congenital suffusion will be there with the The stretch is very important, first is starting in the back of the ear, spreading on the front of the ear, then on the face and scalp, then on the torso, trunk, and then to the limbs. This is the very important distribution of this measles. First of appearing retroorically, then it is going anteriorly in the face, then going to the trunk, then going to the limbs. This is the progression of the maculopapular rash. No postula. It is maculopapular. Now, copric spots are pathogenomic Finding. They said it is sun-cone because it is not seen in other conditions. In other condition and another spots are seen which are called forged hemorrhs spots. Now forged hemorrhs spots can occur in any viral or bacterial infection and it is depending on the parrot. Now here these spots are present specifically where the duct of the parietal glands are opening between the third and the second molar 
just above it, the uh, the parotid duct is opening. Around the parotid duct opening, these spots are seen. It is bluish, reddish spots, complex spots. The complication of are the potatis media, but pneumonia is important rather than this potatis media. That is why it, it can cause the deafness. Pneumonia can cause any complication. It will also affect the hepatitis. It is the hepatitis cellular jaundice. It can cause the myocarditis transiently. And the, it is the infective type of myocarditis and encephalomyelitis or meningitis. This is called classical measles and some complications. One is called atypical measles. Atypical measles with the rash is not starting from the post auricularly, but it is on the face, some part of the body, and it's still the, the, the diagnosis was made by the previously. I've seen these atypical measles in old ages. I've seen about 14 years to 25 to 30 years of age. In this group of ages, now this atypical measles is important because it, it can cause severity of the infection. It can cause more complications. Child can tolerate this infection, but the adult will not tolerate this infection. It is very aggressive in the, in the uh, late childhood or teenagers or in the adulthood. This is atypical measles. And another measles which is called late measles. Late measles means that it will it is coming very, very late means that more than forty years of age. Macular papular rashes occurs and there is suffusion of eyes, etc. Patient is very toxic and then reveal pneumonia afterwards. So this is a very late measles. Another is called remote type of measles complication. Rather, I will say complication. And this is called SSPE, subacute is causing pen and cephalitis with myelitis, even some. The SSPE, subacute is causing pen and cephalitis. At the age of, for example, 35 or 38 years, the patient comes to you with the disturbed sensorium, sign of the encephalitis, or neurological deficit. The Glasgow coma scale is dropping day by day. Weakness of the limbs. This should not be missed. If the patient can remember that he developed misses at one time, it is very, very helpful to you. Now this is a characteristic rash on the trunk and the mumps now. How will you manage the measles? Measles symptomatically. Vaccination should be done after the age of 10 to 12 years because of the passive immunization which is present in a child who is feeding by the mother specifically. Usually the measles vaccination at one time has given at the at, at the age of 11 years with the program EPI. Now they are giving the MMR, the knee, measles, mumps and rubella, general measles. The mumps is also included in that vaccination program at the age of about 14 months to 16 months, or one and a half years. To two years it, it should be given. The mumps with incubation period is higher, it is 14 to 21 days. But it is infectious for one week and is a parotid gland with a swelling, a pure retro, mandibular swelling, painful cervical gland in two thirds of the patients. It may be bilateral or it may be unilateral swelling of the parotid gland. So it is a differential diagnosis of the operator parotid enlargement, specifically with the fever. Maybe Parotid sitting person or parotid and some mandibular, even uh, uh, syllabic gland may be involved in 10%. So it is under the chin, it's swelling develops. 
It's only huge man, it's called atypical mumps. The complication of implantis, the transient deafness, a very important thing is this thing. Epididymo of causes. Epididymo of causes or uphritis. Both conditions can cause infertility. Pancreatitis. Very important complication of the mumps. Pain in the abdomen after the development of the swelling in the parotid glands. A child of six years is presented with the acute abdomen. What is the most differential diagnosis? Most likely diagnosis is definitely pancreatitis occurs because of the mumps. A child of ten years of age has a parotid gland bilaterally. It is involved in tender fever is there, and the patient's heart rate was uh, 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 at the seven to eight years of age it is one hundred and forty per minute. On the electrocardiography, you will see that is the myocarditis means the inflammation of the myocardium means low voltage ECG. Tachycardia with low voltage ECG. Because diagnosis can only be done of the myocarditis by biopsy. You cannot take the uh, biopsy from the heart, it is not easy. And it's definitely the management is uh, symptomatic. The panadol or paracetamol syrup and the good nutrition and uh, the patient should be isolated. Accordingly, symptomatic measures should be done. Fluid balance, electrolyte balance, everything. You should recheck this patient for complication, etc. Now, this is the management and the prophylaxis is that first of all, the isolation, secondly, the immunization program, which I have already said about the MMR vaccination. Another infection which is a very common one is slap cheek syndrome. It's a swift disease. It is by the parvovirus B19 infection. It is also called erythema infectious yum. You should know this disease, please. It is a swift disease. Only the cheeks are involved, face is involved. It is a parvovirus B19 infection. That is the Picrona group of virus. And this disease is also known as Erythema infectiosium, RNA viral diseases. Hand, foot, and the mouth disease, Coxsackie A and B, same group, Picrona virus. And this is, this is not involving the cheek, but involving the hand, and food, and the mouth. Coxsackie B infection can cause myocarditis. This is the commonest cause of the dilated myocardium myopathy in the non-alcoholic world. Commonest, I will say. I have seen many cases of this, of idiopathic myocardium myopathy dilated. No cause was, or not, was, was uh, evaluated for it. It means that the past infection in the centers where the IgM or IgG antibodies for the coxsackie can be done, it will be it can be diagnosed easy. You can diagnose this condition. The coxsackie B can be diagnosed. Coxsackie A can be diagnosed by ELISA. Roseola and phantom. This is the differential diagnosis of a rash around the cheeks. And it was caused by the human herpes virus 6 infection. And the herpes simplex virus, very common virus around the mouth, inside the mouth, around the nose, you know, the shining type of a trusted lesions I've seen, painful condition. Molluscum contagious on the face and around the eyes, it can invade the peripheral part of the eye also. Molluscum contagious, someone was asked when I was given the examination in 1981 and 82, finally the examination, short note on molluscum contagious. 
Aptal malı yeme asked. Was, that at that time we were not very very you know sharp because it was written six lines in the book and the, and the examiner asked about the short note or the molest from contact those people who are honest to write on the piece of paper they have cut it down because they don't know about it those people who are helped by the others they have this is called cheating they are they are they are uh, you know they were seeking from the books what is molluscum contagious they should not done this although there's gaining three marks or four marks you become dishonest to the profession rubella this is general means it occurs and i have seen many cases of rubella it is just like measles but it will rash is slightly different it is not on the air or not on the retro auricular area it is on the face and on the trunk and some limbs are involved characteristic occipital liver neuropathy in this condition unusual place of liver neuropathy rubella is important in pregnant women but it is it can cause congenital congenital anomalies abstinence virus will cause in the childhood is kissing disease university disease abstinence bar virus infectious mononucleosis i have seen many cases of the abstinence bar virus and human papilloma virus it will cause the papillomatous lesions in the genital area on the oral area this is molluscum contagious look see it is just like this the kidney shape papillary lesions some are vesicular in nature fungal infection in the is common and you usually see in the pediatric world are the dermophytic fungi tinnias are more common trichophyton Uh, Peter Mofatin or Marcus Polo. Tinea capitis on the scalp, pleuris around the genital area, pedis on the foot, specifically the last digit, tinea on wing, on the uh, on the hands and the nails, and tinea corporis on the body. These are the different sites where the trichophyton or epidermophyton or the microsporum will attack annular scarring it is annular lesions very characteristic lesions scaling occurs in the same it is lesions around it you will see systemic treatment is usually required for scalp and the nail infection obtain the microbiological confirmation test but you usually do it and manage it very very nicely in our world you know that the local antifungal agents are available and you can use it no problem and uh, there are different substances are available you can use it so this is tinea capitis look the lesion it is annular it is margins are described here around it there is a thema another region is the petis is what you call it it is infection of the petiasis the hyperpigmented patches on the upper chest neck arms you will settle this spontaneously but in a cosmetic region they will come for it there is no in itching etc in tinea corporis there will be itching in petite rosia or petite petite is what they call they will be no itching just deep pigmented spots patches on the upper chest i have seen i think 5 10000 cases in my 43 years of practice and dida infection monelesis classically causes the oral thrush and nappy rash in infants 
Vallabhi was generated in the rows and girls of seeing. And the transition is now drawn in axilla. Chronic mycocutaneous candidiasis may occur in the cell mediated immune deficiency. It may be the oral, it may be pharyngeal, it may be laryngeal, it may be esophageal and HIV. It may be disseminated candidiasis. I have also seen the candida infection as urinary tract infection because very near to the genital tract, re-innovating the urinary tract in, specifically speaking, in women, not in the males. And you should treat this candidiasis. If you would, you will uh, uh, culture this uh, by the clear catch midstream urine, and then culture it. Then the candidiasis can be cultured. This is the infection it missed by many of us. Disseminated disease may be life-threatening. Of course, it is a systemic type of a uh, candidiasis. You see HIV. Parasitic infection in our in the world of pediatrics is the head lice. Most common age is 4 to 11 years. Treatment includes the wet combing, the premethrin or melatonin, rugosion and preference. Actually, this important infection is important at one time associated with hepatitis C. It was said that the lice, they are unhygienic, they can carry this uh, uh, the virus infection. And when they bite it, it will introduce the hepatitis C in the uh, subjects. It was a theory and it was proved and there are many papers written on it. The repeated treatment after memory to ensure all the unhealth. Shave the, uh, the, the skull, scalp and manage with the melatonin or prevention. And there are other agents available also. Do not need to treat whole family but screen with thorough wet coming. School going children are more commonly affected. Lies on a Jewe and his comments. I'm going to do my abode and give me a Jewe. Scabies is a very common infection. Highly contagious, spread by skin contact, commonly capules, recycled pustule, nodules, burrows characteristics. Psychonomic, they are sign corner of the disease. Specifically, skin is a skin sign, it burrows. Intractable pruritus, nocturnal in nature, always in many parts of the body and in the web spaces. Treatment with primethylene and melatonin and protomatin acquires preparation in children as alcoholic, but do it on the correct path. I will take separate lecture on this case. How to manage it? Repeat treatment after one week. Treat whole household. But this is not enough for this uh, lecture to complete this case. I will take another lecture on this. Other infections, home infection are very common. They can cause these, the, the rashes around this uh, pericardial canal, very itching in nature. And it is spread by the auto infection. The mineral is all is the treatment of choice, 100 milligrams should be given for three days and then repeat after 14 days. Whole family should be managed if third worms. Anterior vermicularis. It is itching around the penny anal canal. Rashi associated with the systemic disease that's seen in children are receiving a multiforme and you see the drug reaction with the Steven Johnson syndrome or viral infection with the Steven Johnson or toxic epidermal necrolysis or erythema nodosum, systemic lymphomatosis, dermatoma acidity will cause the skin infection, and juvenile type of the uh, osteoarthritis, that is the oligoarthritis, malignancy, and drugs and Kawasaki syndrome and familial mediterranean fever. This is erythema multiforme. Look, how much part of the body is involved, depending upon it. Stephen Johnson syndrome and mucous membrane are also involved. Eyes, mucus, mucosa is also involved. Napirage is very common. Irritant and it is ammonical. Smell is ammonical around the nappy area. Candida is the main infection. Seborrheic dermatitis can cause. Atomic eczema can be caused. Psoriasis can occur at this area and non-accidental 
چاہے وہ انجری اب یہ نرسوں کے حوالے کر دیا گیا ہے یا کیئر ٹیکر کے حوالے کر دیا گیا تو نتی کو جو ہے نا انہوں نے اسی جگہ مینشن رکھا وہ یورین ٹچ کر کر کے کر کر کے کر کر کے اس نے بچے کا بیڑا غرق کر دیا کانٹیکٹ ایکزیما ٹائپ کی چیز ہو گئی ہے نا وہاں نیپیلیش میں یہ دیکھیے یہ نیپکن کے اندر یہ ایسے سے وائٹ چیز اسپاٹس نظر آ رہے ہیں آپ کے یہاں یہ زیادہ سے نیونٹر انفیکشن میں ایسے میلیا سرمن پیچ منگولین بلو اسپاٹ ریزیما ٹاکسن نیونٹورم سٹرابری نیویس پورٹ وائن سٹین سویشیس دیوار کنجنیٹر میں نے سائن نیویس اب ہم اس سے پوچھیں گے کہ why you are یہ تو پیولی نیونیٹ کیا یا پیڈیٹیشن کا پارٹ ہے نہیں یہ کسی کا بھی کوئی پارٹ نہیں ہے انٹرنل میڈیسن ہے آپ کے پاس کوئی بھی بندہ آئے گا بچہ لے کے آ گیا ہے اب آپ کیا کریں گے وہ بولتا ہے کہ آپ ہی کرنا ہے تو کر لیں میں نہ چھوڑ دیں میڈیا یہ ہے دیکھیں کہ سکن کے اوپر جو ہے نا سپورٹس ٹیولپ ہو جاتے ہیں چائل جب بان ہوتا ہے اس کے بعد تو یہ مختلف ایریا میں ہوتا ہے یہ بیک آف دا نیک میں زیادہ ہوتا ہے تو اس کے اوپر آپ صرف ایمولین لگا دی یہ ٹھیک ہو جائے گا ریزمہ ٹاکسکم نینو ٹیلم کا البتہ جو ہے نا آپ کو ایڈنٹیفائی کرنا ہے ریلیج ہے بھلتر اور ریلیج ہے ریزمہ ہے اس کین بی کوئی بائی دی سٹیپر کو کا اس کین بی کوئی بائی دی سٹیپر کو کا انفیکشن سالمان پیچ جو ہے وہ صرف جو ہے نا آکسپیٹل ایریا میں ہوتا ہے زیادہ زیادہ اور یہ جو ہے یہ سیلف ہیلنگ ہوتا ہے کچھ دن میں غائب ہو جائے گا لہذا اس کو پیشنٹ کو ویسٹین لگا دیں یا ایمولین لگا دیں بچے کو ٹھیک ہو جائے گا منگولین بلو سپورٹس بھی نظر آتے ہیں اب جیس ڈاکٹر برگ یہ کمپریشن کی وجہ سے جب آپ کر رہے ہوتے ہیں ڈیلیوری رفچر ہو جاتی ہیں وینس اس کی وجہ سے یہ بلو سپورٹس آ جاتے ہیں یہ ایک سوری ہے جو ان کے نہیں بتائی گئی ہے اور یہ کہا یہ سیلپ لیمیٹنگ دیتی ہے کہ پریشانی نہیں ہے سٹاپری نیویس بھی اسی طریقے سے جو ہے جیسے آپ کو ملے گا اراؤنڈ دی ایئر اراؤنڈ دی ماؤت بلکل سٹاپری سیلپ لیمیٹنگ دیتی ہے اگر یہ نہیں جائے گی تو لیزر تھرابی کے ذریعے جب بچہ بڑا ہو جائے تو نکال دیں یہ پری کینسلس نہیں ہے پورٹ وائن سٹین بھی کچھ بچوں کو ملتا ہے یہ دیکھیں آپ اراؤنڈ اٹ اونڈ اٹ اس پیسیفک ریجن فور دی ٹیوبلس اسکلوروسس اور نیول فارمیٹرسس ایٹ ون ٹائم بٹ ناؤ اٹ اس سین دیٹ اٹ اس بینائن ریجن اٹ اس کنجینیٹری اکرنگ اون دی فیس سبیشیس دیوی اس ویری کومن ہے بچوں کے اندر ہی آپ کو ملے گا نیوی اس پہ اگر آپ بال کھول کے دیکھیں گے تو یہاں پہ آپ کو ملے گا اس کو کچھ بھی نہیں کرنا ہے اس کو اسے افضاب کرنا ہے اور اس کے اندر بھی مولینٹ لگا دیں ہے ویسٹین لگا دیں کنجنیٹل جائنٹ بنانے سے نیوی اس اس کو البتہ فالو اپ میں رکھنا پڑے گا کیوں یہ پری کینسر اس کنڈیشن ہے اور یہ کسی وقت بھی کنورٹ ہو سکتی ہے اس لیے اس کو جو ہے نا اس کو ریگریس ہونا چاہیے ایز اے چائلڈ گوز ایج اس کی بڑھے گی تو یہ کم ہو جائے گا اگر یہ بڑھ جائے تو اس کی باپسی لیں اور اسٹیجنگ کریں سو ایم تھینکفل ٹو یو دیٹ یو ہیو لسن ون لیکچر آن دا پیڈیٹک ورلڈ وچ آر امپورٹنٹ ٹو دا ورلڈ بیکاز یو آر انٹرنیٹ اینڈ یو ہیو ٹو ڈیل وتھ ایٹ ہما علینہ اللہ بلاؤ السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ